Good morning, children. Previous class, we studied about algebraic expression. What's mean by variables? What's mean by constant? We learn. Now, today, class, we go to simple equation, children. What's mean by simple equation and how to solve the simple equation, children? Now, what's mean by variable? Variable means that can vary variables are denoted by alphabets. That means variables means that we have to take the alphabets here. Already previous class we studied about variables and constant. In that variables we are taking here alphabets. The second letter alphabets we are using here children. Constant means numbers we are taking. Here variables means that can vary and variables are denoted by alphabets. For example, x or p b. Next, D 
division how to say that is division portion divided by quotient ratio per p r by this word is there we have to think it is division we saw per in the previous class that is compound interest i said we per annual annual is given per annual this word is there in the compound interest student half per annum that means yearly this is the word coming that is we have to think it this is division according this way we have to solve the next sum simple equation Multiplication. 
notification is there, children. Two and M between nothing is there means notification, children. Now we have to find out the M value, children. M down and this right equal to A D. Here M between these two numbers multiplication is there. Already I told multiplication is there. Two numbers you should decide that is given place. Now M equal to you can divide A D divided by two. Two ones are two nine are nine. One second I say two M equal to A D. We have to find out the M value, children. Two into M that means in between multiplication sign is there. Two into M equal to A D. Now I want only M. We have to shift the two to R H S side because numbers numbers one side we have to shift them. Here two you shift then two is division side because here multiplication is there. Two and M between we have to shift that side division. Two ones are two nine by M equal to nine. Now fourth problem we have to find out the Y value. First we have to shift the number number one side. That means five Y at this side. Multiplication this one at this side. First which one number number that one we have to take one side. Twenty three at this side we have to take one side. Five Y equal to twenty three at this plus three you shift to R H S side minus three. Now five Y equal to twenty three minus three twenty three. Now I want Y direction. Y at this take down. Now twenty at this. Here nothing is there. Five into y already I got multiplication is there. Five shift to R H S side division is there. Now five one the five four the y go to four the y go to how much four. This is the solution of simple equation. Now we are going to practice doing one the first problem. Convert the statements into equation. The given statements we have to. Write the in equation given. First sum. Four times the number of mangoes. That means how many eggs in a basket is equal to how much eggs? Four times times four means what I got given? Eggs. Times means multiplication we have to say. Four times the number of mangoes. Four times means four into times. How many mangoes is there? Yes, children. X. The total in a basket is equal to equal means equal sign equal to how much? X. That means four in X means four X equal to X. Once again, four times times means multiply. Four into X equal to X. X means X mangoes. How many X? Sir? How many mangoes? X mangoes. Equal to a four is equal to a. Second sum number of boys in a class is how many six more than twice the number of girls. Why there are twenty boys in a class? Answer number of boys in a class is six more than twice the number of girls. Why twice how many girls are there? Why? That means number of girls plus how many boys are there in class is six six boys. Then there are twenty boys in here. How many boys is there? Twenty children. That means two y plus six equal to twenty is the argument expression. Next question. Write the equations as statement. The given equation we have to write it. Statement children. X minus eight equal to fifteen. Now how to write the statements? A subtracted from X is equal to how much children? Fifteen. A subtracted from X is equal to fifteen. Second problem. Sixty-four divided by X equal to fifteen. Say whatever I say, you have to write this statement. Sixty-four divided by divided by how much? X is equal to sixteen children. Or sixty-four divided by X gives how much children? Fifteen. More than say today's how much children? Practice job one. Complete the class of children. Whatever I give you rules, you have to write it. See the book children. And chapter one. Previous class, I have to explain. Finish. Next part, we have to complete the 
one, two, one. Thank you so much, everyone.